everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News. It is Friday once again. You're seeing me on your screen, which means it is time for another installment of Ghostbusters News Fan Mail Friday. But as the norm, before we get into today's unboxings, if you have anything you'd like to send into the Ghostbusters News headquarters, we got a mailing address and it can be found right down below in the description. All right, so here we go. Our first piece of fan mail is from Lucas. Um, it kind of cuts off because there's a, a label, but Lucas in Wisconsin. So let's go ahead and tear into this. Okay, there is uh, there's a lot of paper, a lot of paper in this one. There's another that reads, Dear Jason, hi. Uh, my name is Lucas. My siblings, Elliot, Molly, Logan, and myself are from Lake Mills, Wisconsin. They say they're huge Ghostbuster fans. They love the Ghostbusters News channel. Thank you. And they've even listed their favorite Ghostbusters news videos. Elliot's is the Ghostbusters training kit. Well, Molly, she loves all the Fan Mail Friday videos. I gotta admit, personally for me, Molly, they're my favorite too. Lucas is a fan of when we took a look at the Spirit Halloween Proton Pack. And then finally, Logan loved all the videos we released of the Ghostbusters Afterlife toys. Lucas goes on to say that he's made Ecto Goggles, an Ecto-1, a Ghost Trap, and a Proton Pack. Almost everything is made out of cardboard and paper, and he used 24 hot glue sticks on the Proton Pack. Lucas, 24 glue sticks? You're a madman! I hope you included some photos of the Proton Pack, which, yeah, he totally did. We got Lucas there, 10 years old, rocking the Proton Pack, looking the part. I love it, you did an amazing job on that Proton Pack. From there, we've also got this photo of a little mini Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man that Lucas made for Easter. Oh, and as I'm going through these photos right now, here's a better look at that Proton Pack. You can see we've got all the details there with the cyclotron that has lights, the warning labels, the iron arm, the ribbon cable. At 10 years old, I would have loved to have had this Proton Pack. And this photo here, this is adorable. We've got Lucas, Elliot, Molly, and Logan all dressed up as Ghostbusters, along with a little baby Slimer. I love the costumes, or should I say, uniforms. All of you, you look the part, you look amazing. These Junior Ghostbusters also sent in this photo. Yes, they are actually making their own fan movie. And check this one out. They say this is the full costume. Once again, we got all the Ghostbusters together. We got Slimer there. But this time around, there's also a Ghost Trap and, of course, the Ecto-1. And then from there, I got an obscene amount of fan art. I mean, there is so much here. If I was to go through it, uh, honestly, this video would be like 20 minutes long. So instead, I'm gonna lay everything out on the floor here and give you guys a good look. We got art there of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, Slimer, Dana Barrett as Zool, Terror Dogs, Vigo the Carpathian, A River of Slime, the Ghostbusters logo. There is so much here, but I also do want to call out this drawing of the Scaleri brothers because honestly, I feel like younger Ghostbuster fans everywhere should be drawing the Scaleri brothers. This, this is just beautiful. Seriously, Lucas and fam, I want to thank you guys so much for that fan mail. That was awesome. Honestly, one of my favorite pieces of fan mail I think I've ever received. So good. Now coming up next and last, uh, yes, today's episode is a bit of a shorter one. This box is from Rich Merrick. And when it comes to what Rich sent in, uh, he actually messaged me through Facebook. Um, I do know one item inside of here, which is a comic book. But outside of that, that that's all I know. I took a look actually at, uh, what do they call it here on the box? The content descriptions, that's what they call it. And it says there's a comic book inside, uh, there is a VHS tape, and also a vinyl figure. So, I'm curious. So when it comes to the comic book, this is it. An issue of Ultimate Avengers. And you're likely wondering, Jason, why did he send you a copy of Ultimate Avengers? Well, for those that don't know, this is the issue that is being read by Paul Rudd in Ghostbusters Afterlife. So yes, we do have Ant-Man reading an Avengers comic book. Now from there... <laughs> What is this, a Paul Rudd, a Mr. Gruberson starter pack? Because Rich also sent in a copy of Cujo on VHS. And if somehow you don't remember, Cujo is the movie that Paul Rudd plays when he's teaching summer school in Afterlife. I mean, I guess technically Mr. Gruberson put it on, not Paul Rudd. I gotta distinguish the two from one another. Paul Rudd, Mr. Gruberson. They're both damn wonderful. And then coming up last, we've got a soda figure of Vin's Clortho. Now, I already opened one of these, and I got the regular Vin's. For those that don't know, when it comes to these soda figures, there's a chase variant. 
and I'm thinking maybe there could be a chase inside. But before I do, I feel like I should kind of grab this box again because inside, I think there is a note. Ah, there is a note. And it reads, Hi Jason, enjoy the comic. We included some art by Andy, Matthew, Lucy, and George, and a bonus. Which I'm assuming that bonus was the, uh, yeah, yeah, the soda figure that I, I really can't stop thinking about. I want to open it. But first, let's get to the art. First, we've got the Ghostbusters logo here by Andy, who's 10 years old. And it does say Ghostbusters News up top, which I certainly do appreciate. This looks awesome, Andy. From there, we got this drawing of the Ghostbusters logo, which is uh, actually drawn on the other side of a Spider-Man comic book. Lucy, age six, included this great coloring page of a cat playing with some yarn, along with the Ghostbusters logo there on the left-hand side. And Lucy, I'm not too sure if you've seen my past videos, but I have dressed my cats up as the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, a Ghostbuster, and Slimer. So I certainly appreciate and love this cat art. And speaking of love, I mean, look at all of these hearts here. So cute. And then we have another variation of the Ghostbusters logo, this one for Matthew. And up top there, we've got ourselves a ghost snake. Once again, to the junior Ghostbusters out there, I want to thank you for sending along that awesome fan art. Now, ha, I caught it. It is time to open up this soda vinyl figure. All right, let's see, pull it out here. We got a black bag. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, it, 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 I gotta get in here, gotta get in here. It's him, it is the Chase rendition of Vin's Clortho. I thank you so much, Rich. I was legit so bummed and I'm pretty sure it was pretty visible and you could also hear it in my voice in that review video when I opened up two Vince Clortho soda figures and both were the standard figure and not the Chase. Ah, I love this. Once again, Rich and family, I want to thank you guys for sending along Vince Clortho here. Uh, also, all that phenomenal fan art, the comic book, the VHS tape. You guys are so awesome, and I thank you for the support, and I thank you for watching Ghostbusters News. And with that, I think that does it for this installment of Fan Mail Friday. As I said at the top of the video, if you have anything you would like to send in to the Ghostbusters News headquarters and watch me blush when I open it up like I just did with that terror dog, I love it. We've got a mailing address and it can be found right down below in the description. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in the description. And I'll see you right back here next time.